you guys will probably recognize this. This is the left hand handlebar switch, excuse me, on a uh, Honda 300. The question is, again, this used to drive me crazy when I was out there, is very few people use their, their uh, electric start. They always, always kicked them, <laughs> you know, with the, with the kick start. Well, there's no reason for that. There's no need for that, okay? What I'm going to show you is we're going to set the meter to what's called continuity. And we are going to, I'm going to show you, we're going to test that switch. All right, so the way this meter works, and some of them are a little bit different, is this one says OL, which I, what I term is open line. That means that what the machine is doing right now is it's sending out just a little bit of current, and it can tell then if, if there is a completed circuit. Now that I put the, the probes together, it reads zero. That means it's like zero resistance. That means that the electrons are flowing very freely. Okay, So we're going to use that and see if, if the starter switch is actually working. Okay, So when I look at the starter switch, here's the start switch. Notice the two wires. Again, this is the cool part about the, the wiring diagram and all, too, is Notice the different colors of the wires. You can look at the wiring diagram and look at the wire colors and it'll tell you exactly which wires you need to deal with in that particular circuit. That's just awesome. I used to let those things intimidate me. Now I'm like, man, these things are awesome. These things are great. They're so useful to help me troubleshoot and find out what the problem is. Notice the wire, here's the starter switch. The wires coming out of it are yellow with a red stripe and black. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the black, and it doesn't matter with this on this particular circuit because there's no diodes or anything, anything in it. You can hook it up either way. I am going to follow this wire out, this black wire out, and it actually comes out to the, the slide switch, the, the off, on, off, okay, which is taken out of here, but the black wire comes out of the start switch right to here, right to this pole. Okay, so I'm going to hook it on here. Again, it helps to have the little alligator clips and not the, just the probes. It just makes things a little bit easier. Okay. You might want to have one as an alligator clip and the other one as a probe. Okay. Again, I'm still open line. Again, I tested the meter, make sure there's connection there. So it went back, back to zero. OL. Okay, again, I'm testing to make sure the meter's working. Make sure the, 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 uh, the leads off the meter are working. Now I'm going to follow this down and find right here is where that wire connects. So what I'm going to be able to tell now is if my, my circuit is going to be connected, going to have conductivity through here. So I'm going to take this, hopefully I can get it to read that. I think it will read that. Okay, I'm touching the red there. And then if I touch the button, see how it changes? I just took the mystery out. In other words, I now can for sure say that the connection, the continuity between these wires from here through the switch and out to this end of this plug where the yellow and with the red stripe, it's good. This switch is good. If my electric starts not working, it's not because of that button. It's not because of your starter button. Okay. So again, to me, that's just so cool to be able to actually do that.